So the haul rope for the K1 gondola is about 14,000 feet long, weighs about 60,000 pounds. Uh, it's actually built in Italy and then shipped over to the US. It's a 42 and a half millimeter diameter. It's got six steel strands that are wrapped around a plastic core. The original haul rope lasted since the gondola was first put in in 1997, which was about 40,000 hours of operation. So we should expect to get the same amount out of this new haul rope. So the new haul rope for a lift comes as just a straight piece of rope with two loose ends. We start by tying the new haul rope into the old haul rope. We take the old haul rope down off of a couple of towers, cut it, wrap it into the new one. Then we use the spool that is eventually gonna hold the old haul rope to pull the new haul rope off of the spool that it came on and run it around, put it back on all the towers. So after we've installed the new rope and we have the two ends of the cable laid next to each other, we take three strands from the one end and three strands from the other end. And we wrap them together to form a, a single loop of the haul rope. This haul rope in particular has a splice that's about 200 feet long. So the minimum splice for a lift this long with this size haul rope would be about 135 feet. But we leave room within the splice so that as the rope stretches, we can take more rope out and shorten up and we we'll do what's called a re-splice in order to shorten the overall length of the haul rope. When we take the three ends and we wrap them together, kind of the last step is doing what we call the tucks. So each strand is run from one end all the way down the 200 feet and tied in at the end. You space them out and cut the tails to a certain length and actually take the two ends of the rope, braid them over each other and weave it back inside of the rope. You remove that plastic core, you do what's called a tail wrap around the, that piece of the strand and then tuck it back inside the rope so it becomes the core of the rope in that area. The overall process of replacing the haul rope took us four days. At first it was a crew of probably four or five guys doing all the setup, getting everything ready to pull the old rope off and put the new one on. When we made that swap, we had probably about 12 guys spread out on the line, monitoring where the new and old rope meet, making sure it transitions over the towers well, through the terminals, and ends up back where we started. And then when we go to do this actual splice and the tucking, we had probably about 20 people on site. So it's very heavy. The more people you have to hold it up when you're wrapping the rope around it and making that, that final connection to make it a continuous loop, just makes it easier on everybody if you have a lot of hands while you're doing that wrap. Uh, that takes about a full day, then another day to finish the tucks, put it back on the towers, put the lift back in tension, and we're ready to go. My name is Tim Brosnan, and I'm the lift maintenance manager here at Killington and Pica.